The Notebooks of Leonardo da Vinci unfolds through a series of vignettes that are unrelated yet subtly build a narrative about his life. Ten actors play the famous Renaissance genius, with each representing a different side of his personality and all interacting with each other. The text comes directly from his writings. It is a necessary thing for the painter in order to be able to fashion the limbs correctly to know the anatomy of the sinews, bones, muscles, and tendons. And I in felt like there was metaphoric resonance I could sort of tease out of it that felt dramatic. And then also just the range. On a given page, there'll be a math formula, a drawing of a church or an angel, a sort of to-do list, some doodling. But key passages did emerge. He recalls being a, a young boy exploring in the hills above his home. Once. As a boy, I wandered in the hills above my home. And he is sort of arrested at the threshold of the cave, unable to back away or go forward. I came to the mouth of a huge cave, before which I stopped for a moment, stupefied by such an unknown thing. And I've read that when people are recounting a trauma or a really dramatic thing in their life, they'll often approach the key moment and then keep backing up. So they'll say, like, well, he came in the room, and I remember there was a dog barking, and there was light through the window. Like, they'll start adding detail to back up from the moment of saying what happened. And I feel that in, in that passage, that he's kind of still hesitating on, this, on that edge of the cave. After a time, there arose in me two things, fear and desire. I, I wanted the audience to experience some, some of it in Italian, since that is obviously his native tongue. It's a little bit, I want to say like shining. It gains a bit of mystery. Fear of the dark and menacing cave. Desire to see whether it contained marvelous thing. Playwright and director Mary Zimmerman takes a more playful tone with other sections of Leonardo's notebooks as when he ponders the nature of weight. Weight is a power created by means of force. And we have a kind of duet, a pas de deux in a way, between a man and a woman. And the length of its life corresponds to its effort to regain its native place in which, surprisingly, the smaller of the two keeps lifting the larger of the two to make kind of demonstrations. Force is the child of material motion and the mother and origin of weight. Casting that section's really tough because you want to find a high ratio of difference between the two parties, one being much smaller than the other, so that it has a kind of impressiveness to it. There's also an impressiveness to the production design, which sets the action in a large room filled from floor to high ceiling with drawers. And those drawers are everything to me. Like, they're kind of a plausible imagination of that he might have had such things. But also it is more the compartments in his head. And each of those drawers has a little label. And all of the props, all the whole play comes from those drawers. And Zimmerman wants to make what's inside those drawers and inside Leonardo's head accessible to everyone. Because to her, Leonardo's genius was not so much about having a huge brain and being a brilliant thinker, but rather that he was always awake and open to what the world had to offer, even if it seemed ordinary. Beth Accomando, KPBS News. Thanks for watching. I'm Beth Accomando, and I love covering arts and culture for KPBS here in San Diego. If you want to see more of my coverage, then please hit the like and subscribe button and share. Thanks.